Greetings once again. I do greet you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. And to all the saints of God in the struggle, striving to inherit the kingdom of God. Peace be unto you once again. And uh, I want to go ahead and open up in the second epistle of John. Get your Bibles. Amen. Let's begin to look into the word and study it. That's what we are taught to do. Amen. The second epistle of John, and I'll start at verse 7. It says, For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. Amen. So there are many uh, deceivers in the world. Amen. They, they don't believe that the Bible says God was manifest in the flesh. Amen. He was he was made known. He 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 was revealed in the flesh. Amen. Uh, who's Jesus Christ? He's God. Yes. And he is the son of God. Amen. They don't believe that the son of God was a man. They don't even believe that Jesus Christ was or is the son of God. That makes you a deceiver and an antichrist. Amen. You don't believe that. Amen. You some believe that. Uh, well, he was uh, uh, he was a spirit or after his resurrection, he was a spirit. But he taught himself that a spirit have not flesh and bones as you see me have. Amen. So that makes you an antichrist. More specifically, uh, and something I want to talk about is these individuals in the neighborhood slanging bean pies. Other words, you know them as the nation of Islam. Amen. We don't need your bean pies. Amen. Because your leadership. He, somebody asked me about Farrakhan and you know look Muslims and even the Nation of Islam which is a racist organization against white people they believe that white people were created by a mad scientist on the island of Patamos amen if that's not a, a racist I don't know what it is where can you find that in the Bible you can't find it amen so uh, Farrakhan once again I believe he thought that Elijah Muhammad uh, uh, you know even called him the spirit of truth and and, and all this and all that. And uh, Muslims today believe that uh, at one time, uh, uh, going back to like Sunni Islam, believe that Muhammad uh, was the spirit of truth. No, that's a title for the Holy Ghost. Amen. Not Muhammad, not Elijah Muhammad. Amen. So to make a long story short, Farrakhan doesn't believe that Yes, you talk to a Muslim, Jesus Christ was a prophet, and he was that prophet. Amen. But he was much more than that. He was the son of God. Amen. God was manifest in the flesh. Amen. And you have to believe that. You have to believe the scriptures. So Farrakhan is anti-Christ. He have an anti-Christ spirit. He's a uh, uh, racist against Jews and, and uh, look. Racist against white folks. Anytime you say that, you believe they were created by a mad scientist on the island of Patmos. I can't find that in the book. Amen. So why is it that uh, these churches will invite Farrakhan to speak when that man clearly has a, a spirit of Antichrist? He, they don't even believe that Jesus Christ was crucified. They believe that was Judas in his place. So that's a compromised church. Uh, I can't remember the event, but you can go on YouTube and see how these so-called mega church preachers who preach for filthy lucre's sake in other words they preach for money will invite Farrakhan into their church when that's clearly an antichrist a man with an antichrist spirit amen and like I said the nation of Islam I see you in the neighborhood I you know I, I confront you and we, we, we got to we got to get down with it look here because that's an antichrist religion no I don't need your bean pies and I don't need your final call amen amen so I want to cover that because if you don't believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God that's Antichrist. That's the spirit of Antichrist. So I want to cover that real quick about the nation of Islam and even Islam. You know, for those who have read the Quran, amen. That's not scripture. I don't con consider that scripture. Scripture is by way of the King James Bible, the 66 books of the Holy Bible. King James Version, that's scripture. Amen. Let me turn it while I got you here. Isaiah 9 and 6. For unto us a child is born. Well, it's speaking about Jesus, the birth of Jesus Christ. I ain't talking about Christmas. You can't find Christmas in the Bible. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. 
and the government shall be upon his shoulder and his name is talking about the name of Jesus Christ shall be called wonderful. Amen. Yes, he is. Counselor, the mighty God. Yes. The everlasting father, the prince of peace. It's talking about that name, the name of Jesus, a name that he got from the father. And a name which is above every name. Amen. Who is it talking about here? It's obviously talking about the son of the living God. Why? Because God the father wasn't born. Amen. But the son of God was. It says for unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. Amen. The father wasn't born. Amen. He showed enough is wonderful. Amen. Yes. And it's talking about that name. That name is the name. That's the father's name. Baptizing them in the name of the Father. That name is Jesus. Amen. So let, let, let's turn. Where is that real quick? Philippians. Let's talk about the name. You know where I'm going. Over there in Philippians. By golly, still talking about the name. Took me a while to find it. Philippians chapter 2. Amen. Been a long day. Philippians chapter 2 and at 9. It says, Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him. It's talking about the Son of God, Jesus Christ, and given him a name. And his name, let me stop. And his name shall be called the mighty God, the everlasting Father. It's talking about the name. Amen. And that name was given to him from the Spirit, from the Father. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. Amen. Verse 11, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. That's the name that he got. He inherited that name. Amen. Psalms. Two. And I'm going to start at verse 12. It says, kiss the son. And it ain't talking about S-U-N. It's S-O-N. And it's capitalized. Kiss the son. It's talking about the son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. Kiss the son, lest he be angry. And ye perish from the way, when his wrath is kindled but a little. Bless are all they that put their trust in him. Amen. So we're putting our trust in the son of the living God. Amen. We're not putting our trust in a man, a fair kind, because he have good words and fair speeches to deceive the hearts of the simple. Amen. We ain't simple no more. We can line fair kind up with the word of God. Amen. Fair kind ain't got no place in the church unless he's coming to repent. Go sit down, fair kind, unless you're coming to repent. Amen. Let me explain how backwards and people, how, how there's so much unfairness, amen, in the world today. Now, you got to understand, you, you know, you make a big deal out of racism, amen, and you have pictures of Obama with Farrakhan, knowing what Farrakhan thinks about white people. But ain't nobody said nothing, amen. That's clear racism, amen. And you say these things about Trump, amen, but you, uh, you don't even see him taking a picture with David Duke, amen. So uh, those things are really not <laughs> valid, amen, and it's a backwards world when you think that uh, the only type of people who can be racist are white people towards blacks, but blacks are just as prejudiced towards whites, amen, in, 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 in our reality. So we're living in a world today where, you know, where everything is backwards. But I thank God for the word of God because it's not about black or white, it's about right and wrong, wrong and right. So let's get it right. And the only way is through the Holy Scriptures, through the Holy Word of God. Until next time, be blessed.